Well, I, I think I think we talked about that in our video. Uh, we talked about the rear view mirror, right? And how people are um, people don't like change. They uh, they like the familiar. They like going about their daily lives, not being challenged very much. And uh, you know, and, and it's not a bad thing, but um, when there's something that is on the horizon that is going to be detrimental to that daily existence, then it's time to just stop and contemplate how to do things differently. And you don't have to be a, a physicist or, you know, um, a astrobiologist or anything to understand this. You could just, you know, be a normal person and see what's, you know, what's happening around us and how, the, the seasons are changing and, and you, you have to wear, uh, you know, you have to wear a coat in, in months that you don't normally wear a coat, you know, so you can just see those things. You don't, you don't have to be a mastermind to figure this out, that things are happening. And I, I think what I was about to say before was that people think that, you know, that you can change people and you really can't you just have to you have to focus on yourself and take control of your own behavior and there's really small things that everybody can do uh to make this a better world uh in, in whatever endeavor you know and you just have to be the example that that you that you want to project and uh, you know you, you don't have to go off and and do this great scientific discovery you can just decide on how you're going to throw your trash away <laughs> and uh what kind of car you're going to drive and uh you know just like what food you're going to eat little things right. that yeah. you know will make change happen and and, right. and then also give identity uh, of this is who i am and this is who i am going to be and this does give me hope Right. And um, and I think that does kind of build a community. I, I know that I feel comfortable in, in, in knowing my friends are very conscious of what's going on and it, it does build a community for me. Uh, I do try to listen to opposing, um, you know, views or opinions or philosophies and, and contemplate them as well. I try to stay open minded. Um, but I, I do get the comfort that some people feel, um, you know, uh, they feel, you know, when, when when you're in a pack, you're in a tribe, right? And the whole tribe believes this this one thing. I, there's a lot of comfort in it. I get that. But I, I, I don't know. I think for me personally, I think I think it's good to be sort of an anarchist. And um, think differently for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think I think that you touched upon an aspect here of um, thinking for yourself and also having a way to become grounded in something true and authentic and real. You you mentioned earlier the beauty, um, being able to be open-hearted to the beauty that surrounds us. I mean, right now we're going through the season of spring. And although today it's hard to see the beauty and the rain and the rain clouds, wow. we know the sun's behind us, but you know, the, the, the flowers are blooming, the trees are blooming. Everything right now is emerging with a kind of spec, spectac it's, a, it's a spectacular moment in the season, so to speak. Yeah. Um, to just realize we're embedded in this living web of relationships and that's a place to become rooted. Um, anarchy sometimes implies the notion of being unrooted or disrooted, um, uprooted, so to speak. And it's yeah. true to be anarchic. You have to become rather uprooted from the civilization or from the culture in which you're embedded. But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking also we, we need to talk about what it is you become rooted in. And um, that's the larger context. Is it the generative power of this earth, uh, which seems that every in every direction we turn, there's the ability that this earth has to generate life and to sustain life. And then we wonder if if the earth has that, what is our role? Or do we have a role to safeguard that or a role to help preserve it? 
certainly we have a role to at least do no harm and not interfere okay. with the capacities the earth has. Um, but to all the species, you know, uh, lifestyle changes, the diet we eat, the way we, um, you know, the, the goods that we consume, mm -hmm. you say the trash, how we care for our own trash, um, all can play a big role.